We're going to call this next segment something like uh, fun with electricity. We couldn't get it to start with uh, 12 volts. I was unsuccessful rebuilding that starter. We put in Mopar Al's starter and the darn thing is just as, uh, just as weak. It's just really not spinning it up enough to give it some uh, fire. So uh, we have two old batteries and we're going to daisy chain them. Tesla would be proud. We've got two uh, mediocre 12 volt batteries and we've got them in series. It's going to give us 24 volts for on the hot end of the cable uh, for the starter. And it's going to give us 12 volts on this white to go to the... We're going to use this on our coils. Now you wouldn't ever, ever do not do this. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Because you will fry any electronics except for a starter. The coils on its own separate battery supply for 12 volts. Um, yeah, there we go. So the coil is, is fired up. It's ready to go. The starter's not touching nothing except for itself. It's completely isolated. We're going to kick it over and uh, see if it barks at all. I mean, it really spins up much better. sound like I'm getting any, doesn't feel like I'm getting any spark yet, but I think we're getting closer. So I'll come back once I've got spark. Last time we got the starter cranking. Uh, we're feeding it 24 volts and we got a nice spin going. We still don't have any spark. Even if it's not timed right or anything yet, uh, it should at least be popping a little bit of spark and we got nothing. So, uh, this here coil is kind of of unknown origin. Give it the little dancey dance and every once in a while throw a really weak, anemic kind of uh, little... Uh, hmm. uh, this, this, anyways, long story short, this is no good. Uh, for 15 bucks, we went to the, uh, you know, online bookstore and ordered a standard, no frills, uh, 12 volt, uh, no external resistor required, which is great because we're going to wire this hot straight to a 12 volt source. Hopefully that'll give us uh, a bolt of lightning that we need to get this girl, uh, you know, running, going, doing something, you know, because so far it's, it's been a, a struggle. As you see, every little thing has been kind of like, Murr, but we're not giving up because it, uh, Little hurdles, little hurdles, you know, patience, patience, you know, we got to just stay at it. Persistence is going to win the day, I feel strongly. She definitely has compression. Compression's good. She has valve movement. We got uh, oil dripping down because the oil pump, it was pressurizing the bearings. And so it was dripping oil off the front cover. So we've got oil pressure. Definitely, we need spark. So once we get that happening, spin her up with some fuel that we could we could get some real something. And I don't have a dampener, so it's gonna take me a minute to get some timing going. But first, I have to have spark because there's you can't time nothing. So that's today. Is uh, we want to get spark? Maybe just maybe. Before uh, the end of this video, the new coil is mounted. Uh, we don't have it connected to anything yet. We just want to see if we can get some uh, some heat out of it. You know what I mean? But it, it does connect uh, down to the distributor, so the points down there should be activating it. It's done dirt cheap, dirty deeds. Oh, copyright strike. It's over for me. Our 24 volt power, and here is our 12 volt power. This is going to be where our sparkination is going to come out. We'll just hold it up against the engine block. So this can go on. We don't need to hold it. Now the coil is hot. It is excited. 
This 24 volts go careful, careful, careful. Make sure there's nothing sitting on the engine. Nope, nope, nope. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Still not getting nothing. What the hell? 24 volts uh, really cranks that old starter. I like it. I like it a lot. If we could just get some fire out of here, I'd be so happy. Well, we got voltage there. What's what? Why can't we get anything happening here? It ought to do something. We'll just pretend that we are the points. And uh, we've got power. We're the ground. Manual points. All right, that's happening. So, what's happening down in the distributor? Why isn't our distributor distributing? <laughs> not, not throwing nothing. So, uh, points. We gotta check that the points are still aligned properly. And we have to check that between this little piece here, this little alligator clip, this little clip and the points that we're getting continuity. Cause for some reason I'm not getting a point actuation like I want. Maybe I'll pull this distributor back out one more time. Okay, if we get in real close, you could see that the follower is on the minimum part of the lobe. Things will work better if that does something. So I don't know why I did that or how I got to that point, but uh, that's where the adjustment lies. Uh, for some reason, as points aren't closing, I can't tell if it's uh, completely on the... If it's following that cam and it's maybe just rusted or... Uh, Anyways, it's real hard to show. I don't know if I have to pull the distributor out or not, but I'm going to try and, uh, those points have already been cleaned real nice. So, uh, I thought I had them adjusted, but maybe that was the other distributor. So we're going to get these in adjustment, make sure they're moving the way they're supposed to. And, uh, that is going to get a spark, but, uh, I've said things like that before.